gosh. When was the last time I made this video? So many things going on. Literally, it took me. Well, hello guys. Welcome back to my channel. I just want to put this update for you guys. I think my previous video was on day day four or day five, a painting a day series where I'm trying to challenge myself to paint each painting a day for 31 days of August. Spoiler alert, I actually finished it. <laughs> I'm gonna show you all my 31 paintings in my sketchbook and uh, I'm gonna go through with you with that. And uh, yeah, um, it's been a ride since August. I think this year, has been an eye-opener for myself in terms of finding what I actually want to do because earlier this year I, I was in a, a very deep rut I, I felt very not myself it's more like you don't really, really like what you're painting and I kind of lost my direction you know like as a full-time artist there's a lot of things that you have to keep in tabs on like whether you can sell this as a print or you can sell that as an art but I don't have the sort of originality of my own which I think what I'm trying to tackle on this year and I'm glad that I actually went through a painting a day because through that challenge I sort of found what I really like Let's go check out. <laughs> You're gonna see my sketchbook later on. Okay, so this is my sketchbook. This is the. Uh, it's not really a great sketchbook to be honest. You know, this is the only sketchbook that I had, and I don't want to buy any more sketchbook. Okay, let's go. So the first page is it's kind of slightly torn right here. It's this one. I have. I have no, I no idea why I actually wanted this but I think I just want something calm because on um, that time I went through a very bad, I don't know, so it feels like I was very mentally strained so I just wanted to paint something more calm. This is the, um, the second page with the third day and the fourth day. I, uh, I think this is my least favorite page. I don't know man. I can't really explain, but here it goes. Uh, day five and day six. Personally, I like this one here. That's when I realized that I like to paint sea creatures or animals to be exact. I was and still am in love with the retro feel and it's something that I wanted to add to my paintings and this page is dedicated to the synth wave aesthetic where I want to study how they can get a green feel. Gouache is not really the perfect uh, medium to make it unless if I can do it digitally. I think this is day 7 and day 8. I thought of adding retro elements into landscapes, which I think it's okay. I kind of like this one here. I mean, this is my favorite one. Like, I would literally cut it out and frame it myself, but I couldn't because I need to keep it for this video. <laughs> Maybe I, I should do it afterwards. And this is day 9 and day 10. Usually, um, I paint like one side for each day and the next one for the next day. And this one here, that's when I went overly ambitious. So this is day 11 and day 12. Um, for day 11, I painted bananas. Actually, one of my favorite subjects. I used to dislike painting still life but now I do because there's so much things that you can actually learn from painting a single sub object. On day 12, I draw peaches and figs because I wanted to see if I can actually paint something matte. Like a, a matte surface with not much of the details on the surface if you know what I mean. You can see a lot of tones, not just purple. They have like a specks of blue, a specks of orange in it. It's pretty fun. <laughs> I mean this is my page that I had the most fun 
and then the next one is something that I kind of went overboard with my ideas I had a, a very weird dream about octopuses it's not something very subliminal about it it's just that I kind of like their movements so this is day 13 and day 14 I mean, when I painted this back then, I really hate myself for doing this because it's just out of composition. But now, when I see this, I find that it's it's a very intriguing idea that I can actually revisit. Believe it or not, this year is when I, I start to do sketchbooks and I realized that sketchbook is such an important thing. The next one is on day 15 and day 16 where I went over the top to challenge myself to paint refractions. So day 15, I painted this too. This is like a retro wine glass that I found on Pinterest and I kind of, you know, some colors that I wanted to make it more vintage. I guess that's just retro. And this one, it's not really my favorite because when I look at it today, I feel like the value control in these two pieces are not as good like if you look at this one here it could be much more um, variable if you know what I mean like over here it's slightly blur and, and over this side uh, it's, it doesn't feel any makes sense and I think I really lack into shadows and light because I it's quite technical to understand shadows and light and I think I should do more studies into this in the future and this is day 17 and day 18 a grapefruit, a shell I think it's something for me to practice on something and day 19 and day 20 this page is studies of Wayne Thibault his everly famous color choices on painting desserts which makes them so enticing so therefore i kind of mimic his color choices into this painting and this one right here too i kind of failed doing the specs here but overall i kind of like it i don't know let me know if you like it or not uh, day 21 and day 22 this page is about breakfast i love this one this is my favorite piece because I like the overall tones that I can actually add it on um, with pink and a bit of blue and yellow. This one is the one that I struggled the most. I realized that the coffee surface looks very muddy. In fact, it doesn't look very attracting. Like it doesn't want. I don't want to drink this kind of coffee. Day 23 and day 24, I remember at this day I ran out of ideas what to do, so I just went to explore more on fruits pomegranate uh, yuzu lemon orange i don't know and a wedge of orange a dragon fruit day 25 and 26 kind of um, experimental about this it's all about peels so you have a banana peel a pear peel <laughs> orange peel and the very random one is the garlic peel I, I really like how this turned out. I mean, the value control is there. Like, you can actually differentiate between the, the dark tones and the light tones. Um, the one that I think I like the most is this one here, the banana peel. I realized that I, I used a wrong... I kind of used blue. I think that's the uh, mistake that I used to make that as a peel. So in the end, I feel like I need more studies on banana peels, which I which I kind of did, if you see in my Instagram, I kind of did that with the octopus. And this is the pear peel. Nothing special about it. Next one is day 27 and day 28, that is goldfishes. I think I did the mistake of adding these triangles here because I was just trying to play around with composition and I added this on the last minute decision because I just wanted to, you know, like, well, might as well, I flunked it, might as well just add more elements to it to see how it looks. A lot of you on Instagram like this, but to be honest, I feel like it's not really my favorite one. <laughs> then the next one is day 29 and day 30th, which is uh, on the topic of food. Mad love about this. I remember I struggled this section here because I was looking at the reference and you know that I'm, as I mentioned earlier, I 
I really suck in lighting and shadows, so refractions are like my kryptonite. The next one here is sort of like a yogurt blueberry breakfast bowl. I just want to see how I can paint blueberries, but they kind of look like grapes for some reason. But I feel like I need more studies on fruits like this. On the shadow side, mm, not really my favorite, but you know, at least I tried. And the last page is my dog Finn. I realized that throughout all the pages I found here, I've never drawn any four-legged mammals, I feel. Oh, just a horse, but um, yeah, I kind of painted this guy. He actually wears a, a party hat that I actually created for him to wear it. I'm not sure, it's not really my favorite one because I feel like I struggle so much on this indecisive brush strokes, but I think it's too overly textured. Overall, I think it's nice. I think so, but... And that's the end. Now, I have a painting of the Mooncake Festival that um, someone in Instagram, she really loved that painting, so I decided to let her adopt this. When I say adopt, means to sell this painting for her. <laughs> yeah, so she get that one-of-a-kind painting. Okay, so I'm getting really sweaty right here. Yeah, so those are like my paintings for 31 days. The process in the beginning was very taxing. I was a very slow painter, like I take two days or three days to finish a painting. This process here, it taught me a lot of things. Like, you know, the first thing I learned is that when you have the idea, sketch it out and just paint it. Because it's just the goal for this challenge is for myself, how I can be more decisive. And would I recommend anyone out there to do it? Of course I would. I think I would do it again if I fall into a rut again, which I don't see it coming anymore because I have tons of ideas I've noted down in my notebook and I, I can't wait to start them. But unfortunately with time constraints and there's another event that I need to prepare during December, it's a holiday market. So I feel like I need to put that aside and focus on something that can make some money. <laughs> the takeaway from this challenge is that I learned to be more decisive in my color choices. I was very slow. Like it took me two to three days to finish a painting. Yeah, I feel like my painting speed is has been increased 10%. Not that fast because I there's a lot of planning I need to do in a painting. Now I've been planning more. I feel like planning your painting is so much important than jump straight on to the final piece because you know sometimes ideas might came up and you might think like hey this idea might be very good but it's too late you have done it in the final piece so yeah if you have time give it like a 10 day challenge or maybe a week challenge just to start off i'm gonna make another video about what happens after august and on to october and yeah can't wait. Stay tuned. Bye.